So if you want to overclock your controller, there's two different ways that you can overclock your controller and I'm going to show you both of them. The way I use to overclock my controller is your app called DSX. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for the app. It's $499.99 on Steam and Steam also has to be running for the app to also work. All right, so basically how to do it on DSX is very simple. Make sure your controller is plugged in. Mine's already plugged in. App is loaded, of course. And then you're going to go to this section right here called Stream to Key. Then you're going to click here. You're going to create whatever profile. So I already have like two profiles already created, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to create another profile. So click Create Profile. You're going to call the profile whatever you want. You can call it overclock, OP, whatever. Then change a millisecond to one because you want it to be maximum one. You could even put it to 0.5 milliseconds to make it even faster. But I think one millisecond is probably best because you don't want to push your controller too much. Then you click click Slave Save Profile. So if you notice that the profile is over here already saved, simply if you want to use, a, use the overclocking, just click Start. It's probably the simplest with overclocking controller. So now whenever you play your games, you'll notice a significant improve, in term, improvement in terms of the delay from the controller to the computer. But make sure the computer is controls also plugged in because that's the best way for it to work. So second way that you can overclock it is through another software. So I already have the software downloaded on my computer already and the software is called HID USBF. I have a, a, a link in the description that you can go to to download the software. You just download the software and extract it anywhere you want. And after you extract it, you're going to click on the software like this. And then you're going to go all the way to, you know, the driver and then you're going to click setup. So when you click setup, you, you're going to click all. You notice it's on mice, but just click all. And this you know that your control is right here. So let me just turn off this overclocking because we don't want to run two overclock at the same time. All right. So I'm on the software. So how do I overclock it? So I'm gonna click the software. I'm gonna click filter on device. Then I'm gonna click this to 1000, which is one millihertz, one millisecond. Then I'm gonna click install service. Just allow it to run and everything, give it permission. And then I'm gonna click restart. Now you notice that my control says one here for the interval, which means, it means that it's running at one millisecond, right? So if you change your mind and you don't want the overclocking on, and you want to remove the overclocking, all you're going to do is remove filter of service uh, and also put the default and install service, open run, and then restart. And you notice it's going to go back to six milliseconds, which is what the controller normally comes with. So these are the two best ways to overclock your controller. If this video was helpful, please go ahead and leave a like on this video and a thumbs up. And don't forget, a subscription to this channel will be life-changing. Thank you and I'll see you next week. Peace.